Hello everyone and welcome back. I hope that you're all doing well. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Carmen. I'm a professional makeup artist and in today's video I'm going to be recreating Suki Waterhouse's look from the Met Gala this year. I hope I said her name correctly. So she had this beautiful, absolutely stunning, colorful, pastel, kind of just like watercolor eye look and I just fell in love with it. I haven't done a colorful look in a while so I wanted to recreate it today. All right so if you're interested then please keep on watching but before we get into it don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so so much to me if you would decide subscribing and joining this wonderful family that we have here on this channel. Also please don't forget to like this video if you enjoy it of course and if you find it helpful it helps me so so much if you press that like button. All right, without further ado, let's dive in. If you guys are wondering, yes, yes, I will be doing my hair at the end of the look because I just cannot stand it when hair gets like in my face when I'm doing my makeup. It's just something that I do not like at all. And also because it takes me a very long time to film, filming takes a much longer time than you would expect, trust me. So my hair is super heavy, I have long hair and it just sags and it's sad and it's just like nowhere where I want it to be usually when I finish doing my makeup. So yeah, that's why I like doing my hair at the end of the makeup look. All right, let's actually get into the makeup. I will use the foundation from Makeup by Mario. I've been loving this a lot. Can you see? I bought a second bottle. One of my very good friends, Lavinia, she visited the States and she was very kind to get another shade for me because I initially bought 5N and it was a bit dark for me. So she got me 2N as well. And I like to mix these. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix 2 and 5N. So I'm just spreading this with my finger. I have a damp sponge here and I will just buff this into my skin. I love the finish of this foundation so much. It's uh, still giving coverage, but it's very luminous and very skin-like. My dog is playing outside with a bottle. He's being very loud, so you might hear him. If, if you do, I'm sorry. He's also playing in the rain. And I'm dreading the fact that he will be really dirty when he's going to come in. So um, yeah, wish me luck. Wish me luck because I will definitely need it. So again, I'm going to use this mixture of concealers because I really liked it the last time that I did. So Lancome Tanti Doll and Pat McGrath Skin Fetish. Yes, this is bougie using two expensive concealers. I know. <laughs> but since I have them... I really love that this is, you know, very much my skin color and then I come and brighten wherever I need with the Pat McGrath one and um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I really love that the last time I used these two together so I wanted to use them today also. Why am I explaining this so much? Like somebody needs to stop me, please. I think I'm very chatty today. I don't know why. I'm in a very good mood though. So I'm just going to tap this with my finger. So this is the Lancome one. I'm using it first. So I'm going to apply a bit on my eyelids now that my skin is not looking like shit and I can actually do this. I'm gonna take a sponge and make sure that everything is blended. So now I'm going to use the Pat McGrath one and I will apply it where I have most of my darkness, like right here and also here. Again, taking the sponge and blending everything. Now that we are very up close and personal, let's do the eyes. I'm going to start as per usual with the Rare Beauty Eye Primer. I'm going to apply this on my eyelids. Just use my finger and blend it a bit. So I'm going to apply a bit on my lower lash line. Concentrating most of the primer here in the outer corner of my eyes. 
So on her eyelids, she has a soft lilac, and for that, I'm going to use the Monochromas palette from Hendash. This looks very beat up, even if I haven't used it a lot. Um, yeah, the packaging is kind of bad. But anyway, I'm going to take this shade right here on a Hakuhoto B004G brush. It's basically a flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to start applying this in the center of my eyelid by using tapping motions. So I'm bringing it towards kind of the outer corner of my eye and uh, I'm concentrating most of the color right here in the center of my eyelid. Now I'm going to use the Urd palette, hopefully I'm saying this correctly, from Odin's Eye and I'm going to take, where is it, this shade right here. It's actually a very beautiful pastel green and I'm going to apply it in my inner corners. And now with a blending brush, Hakuhoto J5523, I'm just going to take it right here at the edges of where the colors meet and blend a bit you know, so the transition is not too harsh. It's not a harsh transition as is, but I still want to do this so, you know, it's, uh, it's blended and seamless. Yeah, you're going to definitely hear my dog because he's like chasing his tail right now. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's making a lot of noise. Now I'm going to use the Sunset Palette from Natasha Denona and I think I'm going to start with a bit of this shade right here that's called Morgan and then maybe move a bit to Jasper and uh, let's see. But I'm going to start with Morgan and this is a Letizia small something. <laughs> Oh god, I just always forget the names. Small crease detailer? I think this is the name. Okay. So I'm just gonna take it on the brush and I'm going to start applying it in the outer corner of my lower lash line. And here I'm just, can you see, moving my brush in circular motions. So I marry these two colors together. I'm also moving a bit upwards with the shade Morgan just because I feel like it just needs a bit of shaping here. And I'm just going a bit here and the outer V, but like with what is left in the brush only. Again, I'm going to take a blending brush and just go a bit here over the edges and also here, but I'm using very, very soft, gentle movements. Now I'm going to take a bit of Jasper on the same brush and I'm going to push the color with the brush in my lower lash line, just right here in the outer portion. And again with a clean brush, just blending. I'm going to curl my lashes and this look really takes shape when I'm just going to apply lashes and mascara because when you do colorful eyes you need a bit of definition on the lashes. Why am I not in focus? What is happening? So this is the waterproof pencil from Too Faced. And I am going to use it to tie line a bit because again, as I said, I need some definition right here in my lashes. Lancome Lash Idol. I've been really enjoying this. It's a, it's a really good mascara. So looking at the picture, I can definitely see that she has fake eyelashes, um, not where I normally place them, but more concentrated right here in the center of her lash line. And I feel like she also has some fake lashes on the bottom lash line. So I also have these, so I'm just going to use them.
my lash glue just broke and I was planning on filming another look tomorrow. Oh my God, why? Why? So I have these, these are 10 millimeter individuals and uh, I'm just going to apply them on camera. I haven't done that in a very long time. Okay, so I'm just starting placing them from here. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did apply some fake eyelashes here on the upper lash line and they're so, so subtle. And for that, I'm going to use the duo adhesive and I'm also going to apply them on this eye. So uh, you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if it's very noticeable, but what I like to do is place them and then push the, the lashes just a bit up towards my lower lashes actually. So it looks like, you know, it's part of them. Even if she doesn't have lashes on her lower lash line, I just feel like this adds something so beautiful to the look. It's very subtle, but it just frames the eyes so beautifully. And uh, unfortunately, the photos that I found with the look that Suki wore, like weren't very high quality. And like I cut them and the zoom is like really ruining the photo. And she was the only one that I couldn't find high quality photos of. Anywho, let's move on. I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm gonna be right back. What you really do not wanna forget when you're applying lashes is to cover the lash glue because it shines weirdly, especially if you're attending an event. So I'm going to use the Inglot 77 Eyeliner Gel and my usual 317 brush from Zoeva. And I'm just going to cover the lash glue. I'm going to apply this very, very close to my lash line. I hope I'm in focus. I wasn't, was I? God, please be in focus now. I'm going to use now the Pat McGrath concealer and I'm going to correct a bit underneath my eyes. I'm going to apply it with the same brush. I just want everything to be perfected. I'm going to use the RCMA No Color Powder to set underneath my eyes. I just put it in this smaller container and uh, I'm going to use an eyeshadow brush. I haven't used this powder in a while, so I just pull it today out of my collection because I really, really like it. I'm just going to use it a bit underneath my eyes. I'm going to contour a bit and I'm gonna use the match stick and the shade Amber from Fenty Beauty. I'm not going to use too much, but I want, you know, still a bit of definition to my face. I'm just using my spatula and putting the product on the back of my hand. This is the preferred way to apply cream products for me personally, because I feel like I have so much more control when I do it like this. I'm using a 35 brush from Ruffer. So I'm just blending this and pushing it upwards. I'm also going to use it to contour my nose. So I'm going to use it a bit here in my hairline. I'm going to take the sponge and blend this a bit. I'm also going to use a cream blush and I'm going to take this one from the Hourglass palette. This is the Illum Sheer Color Trio. The blush is here in the middle. Refer number 24 brush. Again, I like to put cream products on the back of my hand and just take them on the brush. And this look is quite blushy. And the blush is super, super high. It also is a bit of a draped blush situation. Now I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Powder to set everything and I'm going to start with the center of my face. I'm just gonna pour the powder here. And I'm going to take it from the cap on a powder puff. 
just make sure that the product gets into it. And then I'm going to start setting the center of my face. So the sides of my nose first. My chin, also my nose, my forehead. I'm going to take the Letizia Lemak FF4 brush and take the powder from the cap on it. Just make sure that the bristles are really coated with the powder. And I'm going to set the rest of my face. I like to use the powder puff in the center of my face because my skin is combination and there is so much shine, you know, coming through. And then the rest of my face is more normal. So I can use, you know, like a normal amount of powder. So I'm also going to set my cheeks. I love the shine, but her skin is not shiny at all. And um, I need to apply some more blush on top. With a Hakuhoro J5521 and the Monochromance palette from Hendash, I'm going to contour a bit or more like accentuate the contour that I did. So I'm using this shade right here. Just want to accentuate a bit a bit more my cheeks here with my nose. Now what I'm going to do is take Luminoso from Milani and this Letizia Lemak brush, swirl it in the blush. And then I'm also going to pass it a bit right here in the Monochromance palette and just use this to go over the cream blush. And again, I'm draping it here. I'm also going to use them here and just blend a bit into the eye look. And now with a refer number 19 brush, I'm going to take this shade from the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I'm just going to go over the edge here of the blush a bit. So it's, it's a bit of a softer transition. So it doesn't look, you know, harsh. Okay, so I just did my hair. It's not, you know, done done. I still have to take these out. But I want to add some finishing touches to the eyes. I'm going to use a Zoeva cream colored pencil on my waterline. And I'm going to take again this brush and a bit of Jasper, top it, and I'm going to accentuate just a tiny bit more the outer corner of my lower lash line with it. And for my lips, I'm going to use this Super Stay Ink Crayon from Maybelline, and I hope I'm going to get my shape right. There's like a sharpener at the end of the product that you can use, but I feel like you can never just get this sharp enough. It does smell really nice though. Okay. This lip turned out a bit darker than I wanted. So I'm going to use Kim KW from Charlotte Tilbury, maybe add a bit of Bitch Perfect and just mix them and add them on top. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do that right now. All right, so this is it, the finished final look. What do you guys think? Maybe you can tell me in a comment. I really do hope you loved it though, because I sure did. It's just, it makes me happy being so colorful and it just, it's so spring, you know? All right, thank you so, so much for watching, for being here. I appreciate having you here. More than you'll ever know, please don't forget to subscribe and press that like button if you enjoyed this video, if you find it helpful, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Bye.